Hi, this is Tim Brannon with uh, Bird Appliance Specialist. Today we're looking at a LG washer. This is a front load washer. And the problem that this one is experiencing is when you try to hit the power button or any buttons, you're not getting any power through the system. First thing you want to do is check your breaker at your main panel. If that's been flipped, then you can go ahead and flip it back on. Now, if you've noticed that it has not been flipped and you're still not getting any power here, next thing you want to do is just go ahead and check to see if you're getting power from your plug. Pull the plug away from the washer um, if you can. Go ahead and pull that out and plug something else in that you know that works and just double check to see you're getting power there. Just so you can do this without using any special tools. If you get power from there, the next most likely cause is a burned out fuse. All right, so what you're looking at is the inside of the LG. This is actually where the fuse is located. Uh, it's in, on a big control board that looks something like this and the fuse is in here. Now this burns out for a lot of reasons. Um, it could be shorts to ground, it could be a, a lot of different things. Some of them are repairable, but there's one that really is not cost effective. And we're gonna go ahead and show you that right now. All right, what you wanna do is open your door here and take a look at these two different tubs. What you've got back here is your standard tub, it's a plastic tub, and then here is your drum, the stainless steel metal drum. What you want to make sure is to make sure these are both together and the only way you can do that is by shaking it. If you see that this has come apart like this, you have a major problem. That's actually a spider on the back of the stainless steel drum that has gone bad and this really is a total loss. You're looking at five or $600 worth of damage. Once you determine the door is not the problem, uh, you can go ahead and look into getting some repairs done. Go ahead and see if you can have a repair guy come out. One of the things that we do to try to make it a little more economical, as you can see in here, there's basically a kind of potting compound on this board. It's probably here, the manufacturer put this here to protect the board from moisture. Um, but what we can do is we can grind away some of this potting compound and go ahead and solder on a new fuse, which should make the board go back to normal versus spending $200 to $250 on a new board after we've solved the other problem that's inside the machine. It's a little more economical. It's a better way to take care of it. And we can probably get this thing back to life. We're gonna have another part two on this where we open this up and give you an idea of what's going on on the inside when you do have a broken tub, just so you can get a better picture of what's going on and we can explain to you ways maybe to avoid it. Thank you.